Cecilia Wickstrom, thank you for coming to this program. Uh, the last week you've been in a huge media storm, both in Sweden and in European media, about the, your criticism against Tornio Borg. I know, and I was really furious when I made that little clip. I, I had received the information on Mr. Borg's track record as a minister on several positions in his country in Malta. I must say at this point that Malta is not a country that I disapprove of. I, on the contrary, I love Malta. I have been a tourist there for many years ago and it's a beautiful island with fantastic climate and wonderful people and great hospitality. I, I can't wait to go back and actually I am going back to Malta at the end of this month. But uh, I, I must admit that what I, what I stated about the, this candidate as for a commissioner was uh, a very colored by my temperament. Yes. Finding out what happened and what he did and his track record on migrants, on asylum seekers, on women's rights, on LGBT rights and so on and so forth. Yeah, I, I must admit that if I would have done the clip today I would have used other words. Okay, yeah, because it started with a YouTube clip where you call him a dinosaur and it's got spread all over. But isn't, for once, you weren't that politically correct in your expressions. You actually said you, what you felt in your heart. Should, should uh, more politicians be like that to actually speak out? Because uh, last, uh, yesterday at a hearing, he was really politically correct. Yeah. So you can never compare him and me. He was giving statements that nobody could criticize and his words were correct. He was politically extremely correct and very, very likable, very nice, decent behavior. But what I really focused on was the statements that he did not make and what he did not say, what's beyond the words, so to speak. But, but um, I guess you cannot compare him and me. I sometimes uh, speak about from my heart and not only from the brain. But should you, would you encourage more politicians to actually speak out and reveal their real thoughts that are not that much put into place? Well, I am not here to judge my colleagues or give them advice, but to myself, every once in a while I need to speak out and, and be very frank and bold and maybe even a little bit cruel. You see, I have a white angel here and a black one here, and sometimes they speak to me. Yeah, you've got lots of feedback from EU citizens all over Europe. Uh, some negative feedback, but the majority positive feedback. Mm. How much does that mean to you? That means a lot. And to all those people out there, I really would like to convey a great, huge thank you. Thank you for your, your concerns, thank you for your support, for your kindness, for your good words. They have really carried me and lifted me through these very difficult days here in the European Parliament. So thanks a million. Yeah. And next week there will be a, a vote about the nomination in plenary. And today the other position is... I am so relieved. I can't tell you how relieved I am and how proud I am that, that my political group, the ALDE group, the Alliance for Liberals and Democrats for Europe, that we are now the first political group, political family to come out in the European Parliament and say, no, we are not going to endorse Mr. Borg as the commissioner. If the European Union would have existed 100 years ago, he would have been a perfect man to be a commissioner. He's well educated, he's extremely nice, well behaved, and he would have been the perfect man for those days. But he is simply not a political leader for today and for the future. And therefore we have decided in the other group not to endorse him. So we have come out with a no. And now I hope that more political groups will follow our example. Thank you very much. Thank